This video is the second in a series of videos on how to program Morningstar products using the setup wizard function in the MSView. The first video was an overview of the MSView setup wizard and it is posted on the how to videos web page which is accessible in the resources tab of the Morningstar website as well as the Morningstar channel on YouTube. This video includes the review of the TriStar MPBT dip switch settings. Some of the settings discussed will be needed when using the setup wizard features of MSView. Here are a few documents that should definitely be reviewed, including section 5 of the Morningstar communications document, the TriStar setup wizard help topics, which can also be accessed in the help topics menu in MSView, and of course the TriStar MPBT manual, which of course should be reviewed carefully before installation. The MSView software is free and can be accessed on the Products tab of the Morningstar website or the Software tab on the Support section of the website. MSView is a Windows-based program. If you are running Linux or Apple, there is a free program called Wine that will allow you to run Windows-based software. I have run MSView with a MacBook with an Ethernet connection to the TriStar MPBT on a local area network with no problem. Serial connections with a Mac may be more involved. Here are the eight dip switches that are used to adjust the settings of the TriStar MPPT controller. These are used to enable certain settings of the controller. Here we have four, five, and six up to enable the custom settings once it's programmed, and eight up enable it to write the program settings to the controller with the Ethernet connection. If you have a serial connection, this is not required. This is the breakdown of the TriStar MPVT dip switch settings. Starting with the switches that were enabled in the previous slide, switch 8 enables the Ethernet write commands. We made it possible to disable this as a security measure so someone can't connect to the controller remotely and change the settings. The program custom settings are enabled with switches 4, 5, and 6 on, and there are also 7 factory presets that will be shown in the next slide. Operational custom settings can only be enabled by the dip switches. However, besides the operational settings, you can program the communication settings and the optional log variables. These settings will be enabled regardless of the dip switch settings, but no other custom settings can get enabled except by the dip switches. For example, switch 1 enables the standard solar tracking mode for wind tracking. If you program the controller for wind in MSView, the wind tracking settings get enabled with switch 1 on. Switch 1 does not enable any other custom setting but the wind tracking voltage versus power curve which must be custom programmed. All the factory presets are managed with switches 4, 5, and 6, regardless of whether it is in solar or wind mode. The wind mode is only available for the TriStar MPBT 150 volt controller at this time, not the 600 volt controller, and it is not in the TriStar MPBT manual yet. If there is no other information yet available regarding the wind feature on the website or updated manual, please contact Morningstar support for more information on the wind feature. Dip switches 2 and 3 can be set for voltage auto detect or you can set it to the voltage of your system to be absolutely sure it charges to the correct voltage of 12, 24, or 48 volts. It is good to think of these as multipliers of the 12 volt nominal settings. You will see in the next slide that the battery settings table is in 12 volt nominal, but it gets multiplied by 2 to get 24 volts or 4 to get 48 volts. The custom settings are also programmed with 12 volt nominal voltages. This is really important when you're doing the custom settings. This adjustment is important also when custom programming for other nominal voltage, such as 36 volts. If you set it to 48 volts, or a multiplier of 4, you would program it to 9 volts nominal or 3 quarters of the 20, 12 volt settings since 4 times 9 equals 36 volts. If you set it to 24 or a multiplier of 2, 
you would program it to 18 volts nominal. Automatic equalize can be disabled with dip switch 7, but the manual equalize will still operate according to the 456 factory or custom presets. The other custom program settings are enabled with switches 4, 5, and 6 on only. Disabling float, timing, high voltage disconnect settings, charge mode limits, all these will only be enabled with dip switches 4, 5, and 6 on. So when you make a custom setting, you need to have 4, 5, and 6 on to activate the charge settings. If you don't turn anything on, it defaults to the lowest voltage and auto detects the nominal battery voltage of 12, 24, or 48 volts. So this makes it safer if someone decides to install it without setting the dip switches. In a sense, it is plug and play device even without any dip switch adjustments. If someone decides to install a 12, 24, or 48 volt nominal lead acid battery system and then come back later to make the adjustments, that should be no problem as long as the remote temperature sensor is used, especially in warm climates. But of course, the proper preset or custom setting needs to be used for the final installation for the long term health of the battery. But those low voltage settings are not going to be harmful if you happen to just, you know, install it without changing the dip switches. So here are the eight battery charge settings, including the seven factory presets and custom settings from the TriStar MPPT manual. Make sure always to check the manufacturer's voltage regulation specs to confirm that their settings match these settings well. It may or may not match the regulation voltages given by the manufacturer. If these set points don't match close enough to the suggested settings from the manufacturer, you can use the custom settings to make adjustments. Also, some advanced users may also want to optimize their settings for their specific system parameters. We get a lot of questions about our float settings, but for off-grid situations, the float mode provided by battery manufacturers are typically lower for long-term float applications. This could go on for months uh, at a time in float and you don't want to have it too high but in solar battery systems it drops out of float every night and if the battery is cycling these higher float settings can help give the batteries a bit more charge after the absorption. Grid tied battery backup selling is one of those applications where it can sit and float for months on end without getting cycled but in those situations the inverter charger will sell at the lower float voltage but the controller will stay in bulk charge mode and not reach float until there is an outage and that's where these higher float settings can possibly be a better choice to keep the batteries as full as possible. As I mentioned all these factory presets are maintained and the only way to activate the custom charge settings is with dip switches 4, 5, and 6 on as you see in the last line of the chart. So going back to the picture of the dip switches, it might be a little hard to make out, but here it shows 4, 5, and 6 on to enable your custom charge settings and then switch 8 on if you are connecting the controller using an Ethernet cable. Serial connections will not need this. Here again are important links related to programming custom settings using the MSVU software. Please see the third video in this series of setup wizard videos, for example, including a walkthrough using the TriStar MPPT setup wizard.